Well, here we are back at the uh, tanning. Uh, it's been a couple days now. I want to take a look at how they are. They've been, I've been stirring them and whatnot, and I want to tell you what I ended up doing. So here we go. We'll take a look. All right. So this is the raccoon and the the single. You see, I got a brick in there. And you can also see once I dig it out that it is starting to turn white in some areas. Um, it's working, there's no doubt. Um, so this is only probably two gallons of water. I use the same solution, uh, one cup of alum to two cups of salt in the two gallons. And I started thinking, gosh, why on earth did I do that? when I had three gallons of water with one cup of alum and two cups of salt. So earlier today, uh, which is basically, I think, day three, I added another cup of alum and another cup of salt. And so since then, these hides have really started to turn white, the, you know, the skin side. Um, they look a lot better than they did. Uh, there's the mink. Let me dig the mink out of here. Well, that's not a mink. Come here, mink. Where are you? I see your tail. Oh, there you flip water, all, all, all alum water. Uh, there's the mink. So you can see the mink is definitely uh, turning also now. Before he wasn't so much. Um, anyway, that's just an update. All right, here we go. Here is tanning update number two. Uh, these babies have been soaking for like five days, stirring every day a couple times, of course. Let me show you what I'm finding. So as I'm looking at them, I pulled this one out. I've pulled out quite a few now. Ringed it out a little bit. You can see this wet membrane. Well, as best I can figure, that's the saddle of the muskrat. So I took my fleshing tool and I started scraping. And what's coming off reminds me of something. So years ago, uh, and I mean 30 plus years ago, uh, I'm early 50s now, so we're talking when I was in my early 20s. I went on a canoe trip, an epic canoe trip. There were eight of us that went. Took us like seven hours to drive to the location that we unloaded the kayak, canoe. Sorry, we carried the canoe several miles to a portage. Then we went on a chain of lakes, and this was all up in Canada, up in Ontario. Uh, I wish I could say the name of the park. Uh, Puckasaw, I guess, is as close as I can get. Uh, you Ontario fellas know exactly what I'm talking about, I'm sure. Anyway, so we did this chain of lakes, and we portaged through, and Anyway, at some point during this trip, I had some beef jerky, and this beef jerky got wet. And everything I'm scraping off of these muskrats reminds me of that beef jerky. I hadn't even thought about that stuff in, I'm not kidding you, 30 years. So I'm thinking this is the saddle. That's what I think. That's why I think it, because it's beef jerky kind of. Um, I'm thinking in order to get these to tan properly, I got to scrape all those saddle off of there. So that's my plan today. I'm going to scrape those saddles. Um, the leather feels good, it feels thick, it feels healthy, but I need to get rid of that saddle. So I'm going to scrape them today and I'll show you what I get. Okay, well I've been uh, pulling fur out and using the scraper, there's the scraper, and pulling off this uh, wet beef jerky looking stuff. And you can see, as I do it, every now and again you'll get a little chunk and it peels off sort of akin to, uh, <laughs> pardon the grossness, but kind of like peeling the skin off of a sunburn. Maybe, maybe not quite that easy. But uh, I pretty much got all these at least scraped a little bit. Some of them still have some hair left on them, but, or I mean uh, some of that skin stuff still left on them. But they're a lot better than they were. So, all right, I'm going to go outside, get him cleaned up real quick, and... Uh, We'll go from there. Nice big fat coon. Too bad it's too, it's just a nasty orange color. But uh, nice coon though. All right, moving on. Here we go. Well, I'll give you another update here soon. Uh, 
I don't know. If, I don't know if this is going to turn out or not. Seems like an awful lot of work for something I could just send to a tannery for uh, not a whole lot more investment. I don't know. Something to do though. All right. I'll give you another update in a couple days. Thanks for being here.